question on it though. We've seen that uh, Team Big League is is liquid, is flexible, is 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 not a static thing. Uh, uh, how do, how does this work? How have they have we set up? You know, is he a is McChesney allowed to just keep adding members? Well, I think that would depend on the verbiage of the contract specifically. Uh, that is something I have not been privy to yet at this time. McChesney's been very covert and clandestine about the details of that particular agreement. But you know McChesney would love to get that championship shot at any means necessary. And I'm sure that's why this tag team match was created. More advantages to catch Idol off guard. But I don't think they expect the Idol to recruit a team quite as imposing as he did with HD Cannon, who's had an amazing amount of success over the past few months against John McChesney, among others. In addition to John Bolin, who's always a just a, a complete a, a spitfire of intensity and power anytime he gets in the ring. Uh, a man who's toured the world, a man that I, I'm shocked has not been IWC champion. That, that's only because he doesn't stay in one place for any long degree of time because he wants to hurt people in all different parts of the country. Spitfire. Oh, wow. I don't know that I, I, I like the description. I don't know that I would have come up with the term spitfire. To, to Help me out, enhance it. To describe John Bolin. What do we got? John Bolin in one word. John Bolin in one word. Side of beef. I mean, honestly, look at him. All, all he's missing is a hook. That was three words, but it's Palace starting out with just an idol. It's a compound word. Idol still in his. Uh, and his uh, wrestling singlet, uh, his plain white singlet, because he actually gotten rid of all of his wrestling gear because he did not envision returning to the ring ever. He thought he was retired. But he got the itch. Well, yeah. And he got the plain white singlet. But uh, how about Andrew Palace? This guy's turned some heads lately. Absolutely. I mean, look at that hair. I, I don't just mean the hair. I mean, he had a great competitive matchup with Zima Ion a few months back here at a live event. And uh, has always been uh, just giving his all here, and, and and really individuals that are far more experienced and on paper at a far superior skill level to Palace. Uh, Palace has really given them a run for their money. Well, well, that's very very true. I mean, uh, let's make no mistake, he still has some oh. learning, but well, he's got a lot to learn. Like, don't wear goggles in your match. Uh, I don't know. Jun Kasai's done well. He ain't no Jun Kasai. I got news. Oh, no, that's true. He's uh. I'd say closer to a sideshow bomb. There's an elbow by Bolin. He gets two. Well, Bolin's not on the list of people Palace has impressed against thus far. And Bolin, he just smothers you with his strength. It's so difficult to make any inroads on him. Yeah, honestly, it, it, it's sort of like trying to run into a Sherman tank. It, it, he has a plenty of offense, but frankly, even if he doesn't use the offense, the size is still there and it'll just run right over you. And we go from a tank to a cannon as the tag is into Matt HD. <laughs> Look at you. Look what you did there. There's, I'll check out the hang time on the suplex. And this guy, very inexperienced, but man, he's got some strength. And man, he's got some confidence. Justin Idol taught him right. Yep. Very first night in the business, he beats John McChesney via countout. That makes headlines. It took McChesney months to get revenge. Finally, he got it last month in Clearfield. But Cannon had the, the number of one of this company's all-time greats straight from the word go. Yeah, and something like that sits in McChesney's craw. That's not something he ever lets go of. Just because he got a measure of vengeance doesn't mean he's about to let it go and move on. Any Idol. opportunity he gets. Oh! Idol takes Palace down hard. Second time, big collision. I'll tell you what, uh, you make a good point, Farnsworth, about the the, uh, the roster page of Team Big League, so to speak. Is Palace an honorary member? Was he drafted for this matchup? Is he being recruited? I'm not really sure, but Flexer and Ginger causing a distraction oh. on the outside, and Palace takes advantage. Nicely done. I tell you what, for being a rookie, this kid knew where to be in the right place at the right time. Oh! And a walk-up senton. I'm impressed. And he got some height on that. You heard the smack of contact when the when back hit back there. Absolutely true. It was a uh, chest flexor who who not just distracted but pulled the feet out of idle and just stopped his momentum there. 
and they've taken over ever since. And now Santa's little helper there, looking for a side rush and leg sweep. He's got it. Flexer never ceases to amaze me with his attire. And now a knee to the back of the head, that's just mean. I wouldn't have been shocked if Flexer came out here in a mistletoe belt buckle, for goodness sakes. <laughs> Flexer now punishing Idol. Mistletoe belt buckle. <laughs> Distracting the official and Ginger getting involved. Bolin inadvertently distracting the official further. That's the one thing about Bolin, he is a hothead. That's new official Jake Clemens, new to IWC Wrestling. Huh. Jake new? Clemens Farnsworth. He's new? Yes. I swear I've seen him here before. Well. I swear he's officiated some matches. Are you? You would be incorrect, as usual. Are you messing with me? I wouldn't do such a thing. Because uh, you've done this before, and I'm like, oh, hey. And, you, and he's like, oh, we've met. I, I, I know how you operate this joke. You're still you? looking for Steve Coulter, for goodness sakes. I'm not even sure if that guy's alive. Nice side slam by 280 plus. If Steve Coulter met Marshall the Bully, might not be. Gee, Justin Idol might not be alive at this point. His career was almost dead. Keep in mind, if Idol would have gotten pinned there, his career in this company's done. Mm -hmm. Amino just taking his time. The hired gun of Team Big League. It's all business when it comes to Marshall. He just loves to hurt you. And the insecurity by Idol. Straight to the external lock, simple protuberance. Pedro talking over my anatomy lesson, but the big story here is the fact that Justin Idol desperately needs a tag to maintain a potential spot on the IWC roster. Now, does that, it doesn't count against him if his team loses. Yes, Idol has to beat everybody. He can't lose. A loss is a loss is a loss, no matter who takes the fall. And Bolin causing some falls of his own. Throwing some elbows, throwing some clotheslines. Oh, oh, the big guy up! He dared him to come in. Marshall's not used to being bullied like that. And Bolin hits the meltdown. Usually that's the signal to be over, but Bolin has something else in mind. Flexor's prone and I think he's shedding. Diving head by the palace move Flexor in the nick of time. Bolin tried to get fancy, didn't pin after the meltdown and it came back to haunt him. And now he's got a forehead full of canvas, trying to shake it off, get back up. And look at Palace trying to swing at anything that'll move. And now a double team, Palace and Flexor both punishing Bolin in the corner. Bolin with the brute strength just puts on a brakes, nothing you can do. Flexor and Marshall collide. Oh, and he is apologizing. These two have had words in the past, they're business associates, but I'm not sure they're friends. Marshall doesn't look, well, Marshall looks less happy than he normally, oh! <laughs> There you see, it's all, oh my lord! It's all business for Marshall, and it's all spear for Flexer. Oh, knee to the head. And Palace is loopy. Good night, youngin. In comes HD Cannon. Idol calling for something in the corner. Cannon has him up. Flexer in big trouble. Marshall the Bull's just leaving. Marshall's had enough of it all. Inverted Splash Mountain style, and HD picks up the win. Here are your winners the team of Justin Idol, John Bowen, and HD Cannon. Just Flexor came out here with two other people, three technically. But right now it is just him alone in the ring. I don't know that I'd want to be him right now. Well, here's something for good measure. Bowling disposed of the garbage 
and Idol's still alive. He can still have a contract here yet. That's the big news. But to get to the promised land, sooner or later, Justin Idol's gonna have to beat John McChesney, and that be the test. Well, I'm one step closer to getting my contract back, thanks to you guys. Let me shoot for a second, though. HD Cannon, as some of you know, I'm the trainer of the IWC Wrestling School, the Iron City Wrestling Academy. HD is one of my students. Well, a couple days ago, HD got a call from the offices of the WWE. He's been invited to have a tryout in front of William Regal, one of the greatest technical wrestlers alive. So I just want to wish you luck, HD. I'm proud to be your trainer, man. Good luck. We want to wish HD Cannon luck. We want to wish Justin Idol luck. Both of them with very different, but very, very pivotal points in their career upcoming and their individual and collective roads will continue here in IWC and abroad. Two big ones still to go. Up next.